Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my how I lost 40 pounds weight loss video. I like to do these videos at my big milestones in my weight loss journey, like 20 pounds, 40 pounds. And I get requested all the time to do weight loss videos and help you guys out, give you some tips and tricks. So if you are interested in all things weight loss, I highly encourage you to watch this whole video, to take notes, to really like pay attention during this video. I'm gonna be your teacher today, okay? But before we get started on this video, I do wanna say that this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. I'm a fan of them through and through, literally. I have bought from them so many times with my own money. I was sponsored by them a few years back and now I'm sponsored again. So by cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com provides over 9,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses with in-house brands like Amelia E and Muse and also designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, things like that. Literally add up to 70% retail prices. You can shop for all your eyewear needs online for affordable prices starting at only $30 with basic prescription lenses included without leaving your home. Because I know I used to always think the only way you could get glasses like this so you could like actually see the world was to go to the doctor, go through all that process and if you don't have insurance it's super super expensive. This is so much easier. So when you shop online at glassesusa.com it's a completely risk-free experience. You don't have to worry. There's free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days and there's a 365 day product warranty so they have blue light glasses and I believe on all the pairs of glasses that I got I got the blue light feature on them and it protects your eyes from especially computer light because I'm on my computer all the time phone light so they're really good for like indoor lighting because we're all on our technology you know all the time but it's also good for outside and like UV rays and glare and things like that so it's really just like protecting your eyes and making them not strain and work so hard which then will cause like headaches and things like that. I also wear my glasses to raves and festivals and since there's always the screens in front of your face when you're like in front of the stage, it's I think good to wear these so I literally wear my blue like glasses at raves like swear. You can also get contact lenses from them which I think is pretty cool. I've never tried them. They literally have a prescription scanner app so if you don't have your prescription on hand or know what it is, they can scan your glasses and get your prescription from it. And also they have like virtual try on and things like that. They have quizzes so you can see what style is best for you. You just upload a picture of yourself and then you try on the glasses and you see what colors and frames look the best on your face So I think that's a super cool feature. I would definitely take advantage of that So this is the first pair of glasses that I got that I'm wearing right now. I think they're so freaking cute I think these are perfect like everyday glasses to go with like any kind of outfit, you know even more subtle I feel like these are even more subtle and you could just kind of wear these with everything as well So cute, right? These are also really good quality. This is the last pair which yes I have my prescription in all of these like I said I recommend if you're someone like me that can't see to get yourself a pair of prescription sunglasses and regular glasses. So those are the three different pairs of glasses I got. I'm so excited to show you guys those. So if you guys are interested in checking out their site, doing a little shopping, getting some glasses for yourself, make sure you click on my link in the description to go shopping at glassesusa.com. It'll be in the description box on this video and I will also put it in the comment section. Get a pair that I got and match with me. Anyways, I am just excited. I can see the world. I can see the details in the trees and it also doesn't have to be a prescription by the way. If I didn't already say that, you could totally just get these regular just to be cute. And thank you so much again to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. I say this in literally every video. I'm not going to give you a backstory about my body. I will leave other links of my videos that I've made recently and in the past if you want to go watch my other weight loss videos because I have been on this journey of weight loss my entire life. I've yo-yoed my entire life. I've been very high in my weight. I've been pretty low in my weight. I've been healthy and I've been everywhere in between. So it has not been anything short of an actual serious life struggle for me to get my body health and weight together okay so if you are sitting here watching this video right now and you've ever had any struggle with your weight just know i'm right there with you i've struggled so many times and it's taken so much trial and error and so much learning to get to the place that i am now to really hopefully help you guys i am not a health professional i'm just going to be here sharing my experience and any kinds of tips and tricks or advice that i have that really worked for me but it's seriously up to your discretion to decide what you want to try what you want to do but at the end of the day i'm literally just preaching health at this point we're gonna start off this video by showing you some before and afters. Like I said, I've yo-yoed my whole life. So I was about like 136 pounds in 2019. I gained all my weight back and I went back up to about 160, probably higher. Um, my highest ever was like 180, but I got back up to 160 in 2021. And mind you, I am a five feet tall woman. So I'm a very short woman, any kind of weight on me shows. So it was not a healthy weight for me to be at. Technically on the scale, I was, I believe, 
morbidly obese. I don't know. I was either obese or morbidly obese. I didn't even notice, you guys. I really like did not even notice the weight gain. Like to look at the pictures and the difference that there is between them, I'm just like, I literally get myself in shock. I just didn't even notice. Like I, I don't know if it was just me trying to convince myself I hadn't gained the weight back or if it's literally severe body dysmorphia, but I don't really feel like I have too much body dysmorphia right now at all. So I don't know if that's like something that I actually have. I'm not gonna say that I do. I don't know if anybody deals with this. I feel like I had more body dysmorphia when I was bigger, thinking that I was smaller. I know a lot of people that go through that think that they're bigger when they're smaller, but I was the other way around. I really think I just went through a lot in 2021 and 2020. I just wasn't really happy mentally. I was not in a good place in my life or just with my mental health and just with a lot of things in general. And it really led me to take on the crutch of like emotional eating and just eating everything to fill the void, to feel better. Seriously, I did use food as an emotional crutch, I think my whole life. I just turned to food and I literally ate anything and everything I could have ever wanted. I ate fast food multiple times a day. I ate so much sweets, it was ridiculous. I ate so much dairy and just stuff that my body doesn't like and I'll gain weight really fast when I'm eating a lot of it. I was also probably eating upwards of like 3,000 calories a day at times, like easily. Um, I was not eating in any kind of calorie deficit or being healthy whatsoever. I was not tracking a damn thing. I was literally eating super calorie dense, fatty processed meals all day, every day, sugary meals, thinking, oh, magically my metabolism will just burn it off, I'll be fine, you know? Um, and no, sadly, a few years go by, it's packed on your body. I didn't see it until I really saw it. Like I literally was sitting there thinking everything was fine the entire time I was putting on weight, you know? And then it just kind of hit me one day and I was like, wait, nothing is fitting. So like I said, I think I was a little higher than 160, but I went from 160 pounds in December 1st of 2021. And then I think I first hit 120 pounds sometime in the beginning of May. So that was like a crazy milestone for me. My goal was ultimately 120 and I decided to push the goalpost a little bit farther and I wanted to go to like 115, 110. So I'm still technically on my journey. I would like to get there. So I didn't weigh myself this past week and I will get back on the schedule this coming Monday. So that might be today when you're watching this, I'm not 100% sure. I was between 119 and 120, so I was kind of stabilizing. I hope I lost a little bit more by now, but I'm gonna kick it into gear even harder regardless. So as for size wise, I went from a size 10 plus. I was probably between a 10 and a 12. Now I am a solid size four. I have an entire closet that's half on Poshmark. The rest is gonna go to Plato's closet or get donated or something. Like I posted a TikTok that like is doing decent and is still getting traction. And I was like in the green pants that I used to wear all the time. And I had no idea they would actually be that big on me now. I thought they would still semi fit me. They don't fit me whatsoever. I was so proud of myself. As for my physical glow up, which I wanted to touch on real quick, I think it has a lot to do with just like what you're putting in your body. I think naturally, I as you get healthy and you take care of yourself and your priority in life is to feed your body healthy things and to feel better and to exercise and to get out and about and get sunshine and just be a healthier being overall, you radiate from the inside like no one's business. Because I just look at pictures of myself and it has literally nothing to do with weight. Like I just look at pictures of myself and I'm just like, you look different. You look like a different person. And like, yes, weight does play a factor but like I'm just talking like pure radiating just like happiness glowing just such a better happier version of myself from the inside out mental health has improved which does not mean it's perfect that's definitely something to talk about my mental health it's not like I just became perfect and I'm so happy and life is amazing I still struggle with mental health stuff and things like that but just nowhere near as bad because I'm taking care of myself I'm physically active and I am feeding myself the nutrients my body was so badly craving for so long that I I wasn't giving it. I was just giving it processed sugar and crap. The inner glow that comes when you take care of yourself, I think is something to be talked about and something that's like a really awesome side effect of weight loss, I feel like, and taking care of yourself. And it's not about weight loss because people can lose weight super unhealthy. And this like doesn't apply. Like I'm talking like losing weight in a way that is really benefiting your soul, like and yourself and your human being. Like you are benefiting yourself so much that you are just like glowing, bitch. I just feel like I overall have glown up in a sense. It feels really great.
I gotta take a sip of my coffee. Hold on. So I'm just giving you guys like a little rundown, okay? We're just talking about like kind of the basics of weight loss right now, and then we'll get into like the more tips and tricks and things like that. But I do not track calories ever, by the way. I lost this weight not by tracking anything. I didn't lose this weight by giving myself super unhealthy eating patterns. Anything like that where it would feel like super, super insanely restrictive. I used to really cut out sugar, but I slowly have added little treats in. And the treat being talked about is crumble cookie. I totally will indulge in a little bit of crumble cookie here and there and I'm not sorry about it I just balance everything out now I feel like I was a little strict in the beginning with myself because I had to prove to myself that I had self-control with sweets because that is one of my weaknesses and I was just like I need to prove to myself that I can go months without this because I will just feel so powerful and I'll finally get a control over it I'll get a control over my need for those sweets and I have I've had the best cookies of my freaking life recently and it's so worth it and every time I eat it I'm like life is not worth living if you can't have a crumble cookie here and there gotta be good you can't just eat multiple giant crumble cookies that's like 3,000 calories but like I'll take a little piece of each flavor I want to try and there you go I eat that throughout the week and it's great I have so much more self-control now so a huge thing with weight loss is self-control but also balance 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 it's so much easier said than done but it's the most important thing and it is literally the only way to make it sustainable and do it for life is if you have balance because you can't just cut out a certain thing that you love for the rest of your life but you also can't eat all the things that you love and are bad for you all day every day for the rest of your life so you have to find a balance between health and having your treats here and there but controlling it because a lot of people have trouble with control <laughs> exhibit a me I feel you if you're in that boat as well I just listen to my body what my body wants now I'll give it I listen to my hunger cues I don't eat out of boredom I don't eat out of frustration I eat when I'm hungry and when I'm starting to feel full I stop and if I'm still hungry I'll eat more control with food I think is like one of the hardest things that stops everyone from being successful in their weight loss journeys or losing weight is control and just knowing when to stop and knowing when to start it's very very hard and food can just become this like thing that we just lean on for emotional comfort and for happiness and that hit of dopamine and whatnot when we're eating that freaking piece of cake or whatever but controlling that and discipline and also being like you know what I'm dying to have this bad thing right now but I'm gonna eat something healthy and see if I still want that you usually find out that you still don't want that bad thing after eating that healthy thing because your body got all the proper nutrients it needed and now it feels great and wonderful and you don't need to eat that burger and fries you can enjoy your tuna salad or whatever you just had you know which <laughs> I just had that it's so freaking good I literally just make tuna with light mayo and mustard and I put spinach in it and I mix it up and it's freaking fire and it kind of tastes like a salad but it has meat in it and it's like delicious you can put avocado in it bitch oh my god cardio girly forever okay cardio girly forever i've really not done any weight training at all on this entire journey so i lost this 40 pounds without doing weights without going insanely hard i lost this 40 pounds by walking this is good news for a lot of you because a lot of people don't want to weight lift a lot of people don't want to run a lot of people don't want to do really intense high intensity workouts and let me tell you walking pilates things like that that really is a key to fat loss that's what i have learned and seen in myself and i'm pretty sure it's the same for other people i see it talked about a lot on tiktok recently so i really highly recommend walking 30 minutes to an hour a day you don't have to be on an incline you can if you want i do a 4.0 incline sometimes and a 3.0 speed i will just walk without holding on to anything just walk and it feels really good and it's Still burns quite a bit of calories and it's you know pretty easy your body gets used to it it's all good if I'm not doing the incline I will just do 3.0 speed for a solid hour maybe a little less there's a lot of times I go to the gym for 30 minutes so I'm not always like at the gym for hours on end sweating dying like sometimes I don't even break too much of a sweat when I go to the gym but I make sure I get out there about two to three to four times a week if I can do more great if I do less sometimes awesome like there was a week after I got back from EDC Las Vegas where I don't think I went to the gym for two weeks I think I maybe went like one day each week or it was like one week I didn't go and then I went one day the next week and then I'm slowly getting into it again now so I'm kind of just now getting on my workout schedule and it's very important because vacations and things like that when you're away for a few days or a weekend or a week or even longer than that you kind of get off track and you kind of get off your routine and think it's fine to kind of break it when you come back as well but what I've learned is I can't do that anymore I have to force myself to get back on the grind I have to force myself to get back to the gym and 
and to not you know be snacky like I kind of was on vacation or whatever I kind of have to get back on the grind but when I am on vacation and things like that and I do want to go to festivals and be away I'm gonna enjoy myself I'm gonna enjoy the donut the protein donut I'm gonna enjoy the chips and salsa you can be a little more strict when you're at home but you can still enjoy the things when you're at family dinners or you're out to dinner with your friends or you're on vacation you can enjoy things here and there just don't make it like a super common thing and always make sure when you're at home and you're chilling and it's just your work week you're just hanging out it's Monday through Friday eat healthy stick to your diet and you will see such a difference I noticed like I just gained my weight back when I would give up I would think like okay I lost the weight like when I'd go on previous weight loss journeys I would get down to a certain weight I would lose like 30 40 pounds and I'd be like okay that's it now I can just keep eating crap and I'll never gain weight again and it just doesn't work like that you're gonna gain the weight back if you don't just stick to your plan like 80 to 90 percent of the time and it doesn't have to be a super restrictive plan I eat carbs I eat all the healthy carbs you could possibly think of. I eat them just as much as proteins and greens and fruits and things like that. I stick to whole foods. I don't try to go for processed foods as much. Of course I still do. I have processed protein bars a lot. I do love my protein bars. You know, I'll have protein powders. I'll have some chips here and there, you know. I'll try to go for the healthier chips, but it's still chips at the end of the day. You know, so I'm not sitting here like, I only eat from my garden every single day. But I do recommend whole foods. 90% of your diet and you got to find your favorite core meals and stick to them It's not always gonna be fun. You're not gonna be eating something different every day of the week You're gonna literally just be eating the same thing a lot But it's gonna be delicious It's gonna be satiating and it's gonna give your body the nutrients that it actually needs your body needs the nutrients from spinach and fish and Meats and I mean I try to stay away from meats. I try to be as plant-based as possible I really do I will never eat pork and beef for the rest of my life people try to get me to eat it all the time I'm like, can you just respect my decision? bro like I'm not eating pork or beef ever okay I'm not really a fan of like the vegan meats and I think that's a misconception which like I am not a dietitian okay so I don't have any credentials to talk about this but I just don't think vegan meats are the best option if you're looking for like health and weight loss of course for the animals and for your veganism and if you're vegan in general that's literally the best option it's gonna be great it's tasty and it's cool it's great I feel like for a weight loss journey a fat loss journey eating a bunch of fake meat is not good either it's processed it has a lot of sodium that's not something that's gonna be like your body's gonna be like hell yeah you know also something else about whole foods which will kind of maybe put it into perspective for you because I didn't know this either until pretty recently so I feel like a lot of people probably don't know this whole foods when you eat them say you eat that potato you're burning off because your body is processing it and it's taking the nutrients from it you're burning off so much more calories while eating that that say the potato is a hundred calories okay you're burning Burning off more calories taking the actual nutrients from actual food technically that potato that was hundred calories is less but now if you're eating a processed chips okay you're eating hot Cheetos and it's hundred calories for a serving well you're just gonna eat that and it's gonna go right through you because your body doesn't need to process it your body's not taking anything from it so it's hundred calories you know what I mean so like as you're eating the whole foods you can basically eat more in a sense depending on what it is you still have to stay in your deficit if your goal is weight loss and everything um, your deficit for your body but I'm just saying you know what I mean it was a perspective that I had to kind of learn and be like oh my god that makes so much sense like that's why in America and stuff a lot like it's very processed here it's very unhealthy foods they give us and then another TikTok freaking Thing that I saw but like you go to other countries and the food is real it's whole it's you know somebody grows it like you know like and sells it to you you're not gaining weight as fast there you're not as unhealthy like I've just been seeing so much and I just get it like our food here is honestly toxic I'm not trying to be that extra ass bitch but like I seriously try so hard to keep my diet as whole food as possible I really don't trust a lot and um, it's been keeping me in shape the best I could be I never thought I'd be under 120 pounds again I never thought that day would ever come and it's because I did not know what to put in my mouth <laughs> I did not know what to eat learn to cook your meals at home and use as very little oils and butters as you possibly can if you are looking to lose weight um, I literally rarely touch the oil I have a 100% natural avocado oil spray that I will use on a few things and I'll use it as a non-stick spray um, and I stay away from sodiums and things like that as much as possible I like to season with no salt seasoning or pepper or garlic powder or just like 
like garlic. I have this frozen garlic from Target. It comes in like this little package and it's all these little frozen garlics and you can just throw it in your veggies as you're sauteing them and it'll give it like a garlic taste. It's so good. I love to do it when I am sauteing spinach. I love to just throw in some garlic and have like a spinach and garlic and pepper little vibe going on and that is a beautiful delicious filling side. I highly highly recommend that. So learn to cook. Learn some of your favorite dishes. My favorite things to cook honestly are chicken and rice bowls, potatoes, and sauteed spinach. Look at your foods as proteins, carbs, and fats and try your best to balance it. Instead of having a whole day of carbs, mix some protein in there, mix some greens in there, mix some fruit. Eat your fruits and veggies, even on days you don't want to, especially veggies. I'm really never in the mood to have greens. I'm not in the mood for my green juice anymore, but I'm like, you know what? This is good for my body. This is what my body could need and want right now, and I always feel better after having some veggies. It always keeps me fuller longer. It's really good for fiber. It helps you go to the bathroom. I'm not saying for sure, yourself to eat things that you don't want but I'm saying if you know you're just kind of being like mm, I want a cookie oh my god I want whatever you know just be like let me let me have a little bit of veggie let me have a little bit of spinach and see where we're at after that you will definitely get used to like okay you're wanting all this bad stuff or you're craving this but like your body wants some veggies right now go ahead and have some veggies and then see how you feel and if you still really want it then go have that thing that you're craving but I would recommend like drinking a glass of water before you want to eat something more unhealthy I mean even if you're just wanting to feel snacky because snacking can definitely kind of ruin your day of hard work just kind of drink a glass of water or have some green juice or eat a veggie and I promise you will feel so much better and then you can make a more informed decision that's less like oh I'm starving I need to eat something bad right now oats for breakfast are essential to me I do not know how people survive without oats it's like the key to my weight loss I would say is oats so I'll have all different kinds of oats overnight oats with chia seeds I will have hot oatmeal with cinnamon I will make my favorite thing ever is baked oats so I literally just blend up some oats, egg whites, vanilla extract, one banana, a little bit of almond milk, a splash if you need it, baking powder and cinnamon. And I will blend that all up in a blender. I will pour it in an oven safe baking pan and I will cook for about 38 minutes on 350 degrees. And you can also put some toppings inside. So you can put sugar-free chocolate chips, you can put blueberries, you can put strawberries, you can put anything you want, make it your own. You don't even have to put the cinnamon, you could add a different spice or whatever. I just always do cinnamon, I don't know why. You could also make that same exact recipe, but you could do it with cocoa powder. Um, and then you could add sugar-free chocolate chips and you could just have like pretty much brownie oats for breakfast. And it's healthy, it has egg whites, it has banana, it has unsweetened cocoa powder. There's like nothing in that, there's no sugar. And it's delicious. Delicious. It is so good. You gotta find recipes like that. The days where you used to crave chocolate cake and used to eat that all the time, well now you have something that you can make. You could also make sugar-free chocolate pie. You could get like the sugar-free jello. And for the crust, you can just like put it in a pan, you know, like press it down. Um, just mix sugar-free maple syrup, peanut butter, and oats. Mix that up, press it down in a pan, and then add on the sugar-free chocolate jello pie, whatever mix, and it'll make you a delicious sugar-free pie, okay? amazing I'm sorry like I have so many ideas it's insane this is what I've learned this is what I do to lose the weight because before I would have gone to the bakery down the street I would have gone and I still have crumble here and there now we talked about that but like that's after I got control with my eating like I would recommend being slightly on the stricter side with yourself if you need it in the beginning don't restrict don't put yourself into a damn eating disorder do not do that shit I've been there many times it's not fun it's not good I'm just saying be strict on yourself when you need to be that's how you lose weight You can't just like be willy-nilly like whatever you have to go kind of hard You have to kind of be real with yourself and be like I will binge I will do this I will do that I need to have some restrictions on myself at least for a certain time being until I see the results I get motivated and I realize I have control over food food does not have control over me because a lot of us Food has control over us or had control over us So going back to that cut out processed sugar and things like that fast food as much as you can in the beginning get a control over everything first learn how to cook your meals learn what you like to eat that's very healthy very lean you want it to be like you're pretty much just eating like the food you're not eating all these oils and butter and salt I try to limit my sauces and my cheeses and my ranch and things like that I really do try to like keep that to a minimum as well there's a really great sugar-free barbecue sauce and he has like all these other sauces that you can get at the grocery store it's all sugar-free because you'd be surprised how much sugar there is in sauces so much fat lots of calories it has a lot to do with me for the calories I want to stay in my calorie deficit calorie deficit is different for everybody I would just 
you know, keep those high calorie sauces and things down so that you can enjoy more of the actual food that you're eating and eat more of it. So that you're more full and you're more satiated because, you know, sour cream and things like that, ranch, it's like that's just very high in calories and it's not gonna fill you up, you know? Like the actual food is. So just eat more of the food, have less of the sauce, and you will stay a lot easier in your calorie deficit. I keep my alcohol drinking to a minimum, but I don't think that's the make or break. Um, there's been many nights where I've gotten pretty drunk <laughs> in the last like five or six months, but it's usually off of like a vodka soda water with lime. I know it's not the best, but it gets the job done. And also just like seltzers. I don't like to drink the little gimmicky alcohols or the mixed drinks and things like that anymore with all the juice and the sugar and things like that. I've had champagne here and there. Like I'm not like super strict with it, but if I'm gonna have a choice I'm gonna get like the seltzer vibe I'm gonna get the lowest sugar vibe that you can controlled portions baby controlled portions okay you got to control your portions it's just what has to be done and if you're still hungry you can have more but I said something like this earlier like you gotta just kind of know when you need to stop and know when you need to start eating you know not just eat randomly whenever you're bored but also know when to stop and not stuff yourself silly eating way more than your body actually needed you can't eat less you can always eat more you can't take the food out of your body after you've already eaten it but you can always eat more so if you have a huge plate you know as americans i feel like we have very big plates you don't need to fill up the entire thing to where you can't see the bottom you can just like portion it like normally you know so keeping it off you guys i have kept it off and it's not like i've kept it off for so long like i hit my first original goal in may and it's only june but i know i will keep this off forever it's not me just trying to lose weight for aesthetic reasons it's me learning health is a thing that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life you're going to be actively working out to keep your body fit like you know people don't just lose weight and have a perfect body by getting there one day and then not doing anything about it afterwards i just it never clicked with me i thought okay you get your dream body you lose the weight and then it just stays like that forever because you did the work now it's just gonna stay like that forever it doesn't work like that now once you get there you're actively going to be trying to keep that body for the rest of your life you can't give up you can't get lazy you have to put in the work consistently literally for the rest of your life even the skinniest healthiest fittest of people they are putting in so much effort you know what i mean it's not like they're just naturally all like that like i feel like i thought like really fit healthy people were just like naturally like that like no they are putting in work day in and day out they are going to the gym multiple times a week like they are keeping that body because your body will change you know if you're just sitting on the couch all day like me eating chips and potatoes and sweets all day without any kind of movement or exercise you're gonna gain weight it's just the facts of it i don't know i got lazy my advice to you is don't get lazy with it you gotta get there and then you gotta keep it this isn't something you're gonna be doing for a few months this is something you're gonna be doing for the rest of your life so commit to a healthy lifestyle not commit to weight loss once you do something for long enough your body will acclimate okay so it is a little hard in the beginning you know it's a little tough you need a lot of discipline your body will acclimate though and it'll become so much easier as you keep going and it'll become like addicting to see the results addicting to eat those delicious foods knowing you're gonna wake up feeling like you have a flat stomach and knowing your body's getting all the nutrients it wants I have like no health issues I went to a three-day rave with no feet pain you know like it's just like it's a different world when you're treating your body right I do not let a bad day or a bad meal ruin anything for me now I feel like I used to let that get to me and I used to be like fuck it everyone does this you know oh I ate this now I can just like kind of be off for the rest of the week and then the end of that week comes and you're like well I did so bad this week I'll just do bad for the rest of the month and then it's a cycle you know what I mean you have to nip that in the butt if you have a bad day cool awesome it probably jump-started your metabolism and you get back on it tomorrow you're fine you got to enjoy the foods that you love you gotta have a good day of eating some good foods and now you're back on your bullshit and guess what I guarantee you you will not gain any weight from that you gained absolutely nothing from that if anything you probably lost weight because your body kind of got a jump start kind of got a little calorie boost and it likes that and then when you go back to eating healthy it's kind of like whoa and then you lose weight that's what happens to me all the time my determination to keep it off and my determination to lose the weight had to be harder than like my willingness to do any of this like i had to just be more determined than let my emotions take over and let my laziness take over i honestly have watched like lots of inspirational motivational videos on youtube and stuff about it but like you just gotta keep going you can't stop and like I said you need to know that this is going to be a lifestyle so 
just get used to eating healthy and learning new recipes learning new facts about health learning new things that your body likes to do for exercise you just gotta keep it interesting and as you progress and as you see results and as you see and physically feel the benefits of being healthy in general not just weight loss just being healthy you will be determined to keep it up and determined to do the things that make your body happy and healthy you literally just have to get started you have to get started stop making excuses stop making excuses I literally don't care if this has anything to do with weight if we're just talking about health get started a big thing this has worked for me kind of random but a good way to keep it off along with just doing the same thing that you did to lose it obviously eating healthy eating low sugar things like that whole foods as much as I always want a delicious coffee I want a white chocolate mocha from Starbucks I want to add the regular fatty sugary creamers to my coffee in the morning so I can have a treat in the morning I keep wanting that in my soul but I just keep my coffee low sugar because guess what I'll probably eat some sugar in a cookie later but I'd rather eat the sugar in the cookie later and have a controlled amount of sugar that I'm eating and not go over too high for my day the grams of sugar that I'm having because it's so easy to go over your grams of sugar that you should have in a day if you're drinking a 50 gram of sugar coffee in the morning first thing it's not fulfilling you it's not satiating you it's not healthy for you it's just kind of gonna make you crave more throughout the day more sugar more fat it's honestly a terrible idea to start off with super sugary bad for you foods in the morning so I keep my coffee just plain I do like a K pod or I do instant coffee and I do nut pods creamer or or sugar-free creamer in it so there's essentially no sugar in my coffee every morning and I stick to that it's good to have a little bit of sugar here and there you know I'll have like a little pump of sugar in my Starbucks coffee when I go out but I'll get a grande instead of a venti and I'll get sugar-free in it as well um, so it's not overloaded with sugar like you can treat yourself but just reel it back and I'm talking about myself because I used to be the fucking definition of eats sugar in and with everything. So these are some good snack foods in moderation if you want to take notes on this. Quest protein chips, especially the spicy chili, is so fucking good. They are so good. They're very processed, but they're very high protein and they're low carb. Decent to have if you're feeling snacky or if you're going on a road trip or something like that. Bear Bell's protein bars, they're pretty good, but they have malitol in them. And that screws my stomach up, I'm not going to lie. So maybe look for some protein bars without malitol i've been slowing down eating those quest cookies very good they have a birthday cake and a chocolate type of cookie by quest i hate their quest bars but their quest cookies and their quest chips delicious okay any kind of fruit eat the fruit bell peppers carrots things like that eat that with hummus delicious healthy snack Blue corn chips and salsa, I've been eating that a lot lately. Vegan spinach bites from Sam's Club are a great snack. Those are kind of like the snacky foods that I have. Other than that, I'm eating meals. I'm eating spinach, I'm eating chicken, I'm eating white rice, brown rice, avocado toast, protein cereals I'll have. I'll have my oats in the morning, my baked oats. Like I kind of do stick to the same things though. I love me some salmon. I love me some egg scramble. Like as we've been talking about sugar this whole time, I keep my sugar down. I do sugar-free maple syrup on things. I do sugar-free chocolate chips here and there. I go for like keto desserts sometimes, even though I would never be keto in my whole entire life because the premise of keto desserts is to have low sugar and low carbs, which is fine. I'll take that in a dessert, you know, because sometimes it's better to have a low sugar dessert than a super high sugar dessert, but obviously balance here and there. It is not easy. It is not so easy to lose this weight. It is not easy to just lose 40 pounds and keep it off. It's not. But you know what? It's very, very possible. So if you are somebody watching this that has been struggling with their weight or struggling to get started, struggling with motivation, I highly encourage you to start today. Start when you finally feel that feeling of motivation. Find something that motivates you. Find the event that you have coming up that motivates you. But also know that you're doing this for the greater good of yourself you're doing this to feel more confident you're doing this to feel better you're doing this to help your mental health you're doing this to help your body feel better and be healthier and in better shape you are doing this for you because of the love that you have for yourself you have so much love for yourself that you want to get your body and yourself and your mental health and everything into the best possible position and shape that it's ever been in because you love yourself that much I think it's the ultimate show of like love you know is taking care of yourself you know next week is gonna come next month is gonna come next year is gonna come and you know we constantly say to ourselves like oh it'll be fine we'll get there we'll do it but will you really 
You have to take control of your life. You have to take control. You have to just go for it and just know that day's gonna come where, you know, oh, that seems like forever. It's gonna take me five or six months to lose the weight, which it took me about five months to lose 40 pounds. So if you're like, oh my God, I have 40 pounds to lose five months, sounds like it's so far away. I promise it'll come so much faster than you ever could have imagined and it's gonna come regardless. So would you rather have lost the 40 pounds in five months or still be where you're at? The choice is yours. Whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. Choose your heart. It is hard to feel uncomfortable in your skin. It is hard to feel uncomfortable in your clothes. It is hard to feel like you're just not confident and that you're not living the life of your dreams and the life that you want for yourself. You know what else is hard? Working out every day, forcing yourself to go to the gym, eating spinach when you wanna eat McDonald's, <laughs> learning to cook when you have no desire to cook. You'd rather just eat out all day and have somebody make it for you and deliver it for you. Like it's hard to do these things sometimes. Choose your heart. That is the best piece of advice I could give to anybody or the best just like thing to instill in anybody in any area of life. I'm just talking about weight loss and health and things like that, but like which heart are you choosing? Because it's very hard either way. There's something about challenging yourself and keeping the promises that you made to yourself that makes you love yourself so much more and gives so much more confidence in yourself, like you trust yourself so much more when you make a promise and you stick to it to yourself. You know, we talk a lot about making promises to other people and keeping them, you know, what about making the promises to yourself and keeping those? That gives you a whole nother world of confidence. I want us to get motivated together. I want us to feel good. I want us to take our life back. I didn't know how to keep promises to myself. I didn't know how to control my weight. I didn't know how to control my emotional eating. Now learning this control, this self-discipline, keeping these promises to myself, I am just so much happier, even if life isn't perfect because it won't completely change your life and your mental health. You won't just be sunshine, rainbows, and butterflies all day, every day of your life just because you lost some weight or you feel a little bit more confident in your clothes. It literally is so much deeper than that. It is literally as simple as eating whole foods in a calorie deficit for your body. Whatever calorie deficit is proper for you. I'm not a dietitian. I can't tell you what that is or what you're eating now. You need to eat less of whatever you're eating now if you want to lose weight. I stick to plant-based stuff as much as possible so you'll never catch me with regular milk. You'll catch me with unsweetened almond milk all day, every day. Any kind of unsweetened milk, you can do unsweetened coconut milk. I'm not sure if they have unsweetened oat milk, but like that would be awesome, I would totally get that. But unsweetened almond is so solid. And in Starbucks orders, I always, ugh, as much as I love their oat milk, I love Oatly oat milk, I go for the almond milk. I try to always go for the lowest sugar option, the healthiest option. It's just, you kind of learn what to look out for in life and to look out for and change that was maybe hindering your weight loss or your health before. You could have two milks and they're just so different. There's a world of a difference, you know? Unsweetened almond milk compared to Oatly oat milk is like night and day for health and weight loss, you know? like. And there's certain ones that are better than others, certain ones that have like more chemicals in them and gums, oils that we don't need or want. Literally just look for almonds and water if you wanna be healthier. Try to find milks without oils and shit like that. Why is there oil in our milk? Like this is what I'm saying. It's very hard for us to also lose weight and be healthy when we are literally provided with all this unhealthy food to make people and corporations a bunch of money and whatever their reasoning is, I don't understand. You're just making everyone unhealthy. I don't get it. I will never get it, but I've just learned so much about like the food industry and shit since I started this too and I like don't trust anything. I, yeah, I don't really eat a lot. <laughs> I kind of eat the same kind of thing every day now because I'm just like, I don't know what's in that. And if I don't know the ingredients, it just weirds me out now. I'm just like, why is there acidic this and that in my fucking whatever? You do not need a lot to start, so what's your excuse? Don't make excuses, don't baby yourself. Sometimes you need a little kick in the butt and you need to be told what's up and you need to have a reality check. And I was the one that kicked my own butt into gear in December of 2021. I decided I was not happy living like that anymore. I did not like what I was doing to my body and I was gonna change it and I'm here. Past self, I am so thankful for her. So thankful for her. You will thank your past self. Your future self is waiting for you. You will thank your past self, okay? Your new future self, new and improved, however you want to be healthy, fit, whatever, is 
waiting for you. There's no secret. There's no huge secret. I don't have any diet pills. Okay, I think that is all for me today, you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with my weight loss journey and like see pictures of me currently and things like that. I would love to make more videos like this and I'm always posting stuff on my Insta story and on my Twitter and stuff. So if you really want to like be involved and want to message me and stuff and like see what I'm doing at all times, what I'm eating and things like that, keep up with me on Instagram. And do not forget to go check out glassesusa.com. The link will be in the description and in the comments and go get yourself some nice, cute, amazing glasses. I'm kind of obsessed with these and I like couldn't stop looking at them throughout the whole video. I'm gonna be wearing these every day, bitch. And I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye guys.